Right now, while you were sleeping, temperatures plunged in a big way across the dry state. Storm Team 4 tracking this dip in temperatures that will have you bundling up this morning. <laughs> Plus, from flooding to freezing, the cold adds another layer to the weather mess the tri state's been dealing with. And we're not the only ones feeling a winter blast today. The bitterly cold temperatures affecting really everything across the country, from sports, even down to politics. Good morning and hello again. Welcome to Weekend Today in New York. I'm Gus Rosendale. And I'm Pat Battle. And it is that time of year where we begin to count the layers. Layers. Oh, uh-huh. Yes. And it, to this morning was a four. Four layers. Mm -hmm. Oh. They're coming out? Are you kidding? It was really cold, Rap. No, I was curious. I was waiting for your yeah, what'd forecast you think? there. Okay, four layers today. No, that sounds about right. So tomorrow it's going to be about 10 degrees colder, Pat. So five, six, I guess. We'll see. <laughs> Live storm tracker for not picking up any rain or snow. Our radar scanning the skies from Rutgers University. It will be busy. Right now, a winter blast sitting on top of the tri-state area. We are waking up to really cold temperatures and not expecting them to warm up too much. Good morning and welcome back to Weekend Today in New York on a Sunday morning. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Pat Powell. And I'm Gus Rosendale. I like how you describe that. The cold weather is just woof, woof. Come in, <laughs> sticking around, wrapping them around in the Storm Team for Weather Center. We are going to notice this when we head out the door today, Raph. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you probably felt it some point yesterday afternoon or evening if you had to go outside. And then you probably stayed inside under the covers as long as you could uh, because the cold is out there. And we are tracking some snow squalls as we head throughout the day today. Yeah, quick bursts of snow possible through the middle of the day. That could have some trouble. I'm a long way from that. 30, what was it, 30 days ago? Yeah. Uh, 20, uh, no, it was 70 feet, right? At Rockefeller, uh, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. The 20-foot Rockefeller Center Christmas tree in December 1931. This year it was 70 feet, right? Yes, yes, it's changed over the years. A tradition when the construction workers were doing and originally building the place. Uh, there we go. So the skating rink is open, by the way, if you want to still come down and check it out. But no, yeah. no trees. No. It, it does happen this they time do it year. quick. I, I saw a few pine needles down there. There we go. Oh. Let's uh, collect them. Collect them for next year. Memories. Uh -huh. There we go. The cold weather remains. Yeah, cold Cold and wind. We have wind advisories in effect north and west through 5 o'clock. We're seeing gusts between 30, 40, even up to 50 miles per hour. And we're anticipating snow squalls through the middle of the day. That could cause dangerous travel probably just around noon in the city. It could drop visibility pretty quickly, and then they'll be in and out. Cold remains. Light snow Tuesday morning. Get ready. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, Raph. That's it for us right now. Sunday today with Willie Geist coming up next. And we will see you back here at 9.